And this week we had the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody watched it, right? Right. At least a hundred plus million of us watched it because that's what gets attracted to this game. And you get a lot of cool commercials going on. Um, and the best part about it is you get a lot of really cool movie trailers. Now these movie trailers usually are cut down a little bit, but you see a ton of new movies that are coming out. A lot of times this is the first time they premiere a trailer. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to run through a couple of the trailers that we saw. Um, let's start with Jurassic World. Uh, Chris Pratt is going to be in this movie. This is looking like they've teased that a few. It's going to be a reboot series. Yeah, we've seen it. A new trailer. It's a new trailer for it. But it, they kind of give you a little more depth to what the the story is going to be about. It's going to be a reboot of the you know the Jurassic Park series. It seems like in this version of it. The park is. Is up it and a running. reboot or is it just like uh, a continuation with the different characters? Or something? No, I'm pretty sure it's a reboot because the park mm. seems to be up and running at this point. It, it's successful. They have uh, in the beginning of the trailer they show a lot of kids like going on these rides, seeing the dinosaurs and everything like that. And Chris Pratt actually looks like he is going to be a raptor trainer, kind of like a lion trainer, and except mm. for he does it with raptors. Like he has this one scene where they're like all. The raptors are surrounding them yet, not attacking them. They like look up to them or like a, yeah, like a trainer, um, and they decide to mess with some of the genetics of these dinosaurs. And then you get the hybrid dinosaur, which comes in and just likes killing people. So <laughs> it looks very interesting. At one point, you see Chris Pratt saying like, "We're gonna give everything we got to stop this thing," and so he jumps on a like a, um, a dirt bike, and he has a pack of raptors running through the woods with them, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, but, you know, I think it'll be fun. Uh, it's like D if Disney World had dinosaurs, and then one of those dinosaurs wanted to eat everybody. Kind of what I, th I think this one is going to be like. So I'm looking forward to that. It should be cool. And okay. so we'll just go to the next one, and speaking of Disney theme parks, uh, Tomorrowland. Um, this movie just seemed like it was like, okay, hey, we already have this theme park, let's make a movie about it, maybe people will come want to see this more, and yeah, George Clooney's going to be in it, it's kind of saying, what if there was a world where anything you wanted to happen would happen when you wanted it to happen, it's like, okay, like, only one person could live in that world then, right, because mm -hmm. everybody would conflict, it just wouldn't work very well, so, unless you have multiple overlapping worlds, Multiple dimensions. I guess you could. I, I It'd don't be know. weird. Though. You can kind of see people there, but then you're there. I don't know. Yeah, this movie looked. I mean, it's probably going to be interesting, but it really seemed more like a, hey, this is an advertisement for Tomorrowland Disney World. <laughs> you come, come see our park and watch the movie. Yeah. But you, when you go to the park, you're going to be very, very disappointed because that stuff doesn't really happen. I'm going to yeah. cut in real quick. Yeah. Jurassic World. Not a reboot. Okay, just, then I was just looking at that. Um, it's just they, they built another park. Like apparently, part of the story is they built another park on top of the uh, the remains of the old park. Okay, so they they're rebooted. Like, hey, the you park. know this worked out so well last time. Let's do it again. So they rebooted the park. <laughs> so it's kind of a reboot. I know, but but it is a continuation. Like the story yeah. is still the backstory is still in place. All the three previous movies are still in place. It's just now now it actually has a. Uh, somewhat more foolish um, backdrop because clearly this did not work previously. <laughs> they said it disastrously <laughs> before. You know, <laughs> and now we're just going to do it again at the same spot. And make a hybrid dinosaur that likes to kill people. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, and so Tomorrowland, yeah, one big advertisement for Disney theme parks. Then we have Pitch Perfect 2. Not a movie I'm going to go see. Apparently a lot of people like the first one, so... You know, it's just not my cup of tea. But really, this ad seemed like more of a Clay Matthews ad because they put him in there, and apparently the Green Bay Packers are going to have a group. If you don't know what this movie is about, it's about a cappella groups singing out. Oh, doing yeah, sing yeah, I remember seeing that. I wasn't sure if that was serious or not. Yeah, that's When the serious. Green Bay Packers came in, I was like, no, 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 this is, this is some kind of joke. Like, they're this is a, a spoof. They're advertising something else. What are they advertising? Like, nope, nope. Apparently the Green Bay Packers have an a cappella team. Uh, in a movie. And that's why it got on the Super Bowl. It's, it's almost like they, they decided, hey, we want to have a Super Bowl ad for this movie, so let's put some football players in it. 
just in case the Packers are in there, it'll be even better. So <laughs> it's like, okay, build your movie around uh, what your future advertising will be. Sounds like a good idea, not around a story. But I, I didn't see the first one. That way. I don't know. But a lot of people really like the first one. Uh, I'm not going to see the second one. I'm sure a lot of people really like the second one. So uh, we'll see what happens, uh, how it goes. And then we had Kingsman. This is a movie I've been looking forward to. It's kind of like a young James Bond. And I say young, young James Bond because they bring in all the gadgets, lots of cars, and it's going to be crazy stuff. So it's, it's like a souped-up James Bond. It's like James Bond meets Fast and Furious. They are doing a lot of over-the-top action going to be a lot of cool fight sequences. Of course, lots of gadgets. If you saw one of the trailers, this guy has this, like, bulletproof umbrella that can see. You can see through the umbrella. I don't know. It, it just looks pretty cool. Samuel L. Jackson will be the main villain, and I love Simon L. Jackson in movies. He's just good. Hopefully he, he'll yell the MF um, somewhere in there. He has to. I think that's... Samuel L. Jackson, like, he signs, signs on to so many projects. Like, you just... You have no real indication as to whether the movie's going to be good or not. You know he's going to be good. Yeah, he's, he's always good. good. You're going to enjoy watching him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's a bad movie, you know he's going to be good. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, at least you know. At least you just one don't know that it's going to be a good be movie. Good. And this movie, they're not even tried trying to hide the fact that they are ripping off Bond. I think and they drop Bond somewhere in in the trailer. They're like, "This is a higher octane Bond." Like, okay, you know, that's cool. They, Bond is a secret agent. These guys are going to be secret agents. He has a lot of cool gadgets. You're going to have a lot of cool gadgets. Uh, yeah, all right, cool, fine, whatever. I'm going to watch it. It seems like it's going to be an interesting action-packed movie. They do have this one weird thing that I'm not sure how it incorporates into the movie. They have a girl with the prosthetic legs, but knives come out of them. So that's going to be kind of interesting. They showed that hmm. all. She could be a cool fighter. I've never seen that before, I don't think. So, you know, you mean you see the knife come out of the shoe. Is it both legs are prosthetic with knives? Yeah, she has those, like, you you know, um, the Oscar Piostras, uh, the the Olympic runner? Yeah, 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 no, no, I understand that. It's those type of legs, but then blades come out of those. Hmm. So that would be interesting. I'm curious to see that. It would be dangerous. Mm Mm-hmm. And then we have Fast and Furious 7, called Just Furious 7. Of yeah, course, they had to have Tyrese yelling Because some... they went from, what, Fast 5, and then, what, what did they call 6? Furious Fast 6? and Furious 6? I don't know. They don't really name They called 5, Fast 5, now they're saying Furious 7. They're, they're just like, eh, we'll, we'll play around with the name as much yeah. as, as long as we get Fast, fast or furious. furious somewhere in there. Yeah. The it was The Fast and the Furious 1, 2, and 3, and then it was that, Fast and Furious was number 4. That's what's... And then, yeah. And then Fast 5, I think it was, and... I don't know. They, they, they play around with their names. They don't know what they're doing. They're just like, hey, let's put a lot of cool cars in there. Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and go. So, and now they have The Rock in there, who apparently likes carrying around a Gatling gun in this movie. That's real yeah. realistic. <laughs> you know? Hey, it, it doesn't... It's, it's Fast and Furious. It... <laughs> Realistic doesn't it's matter. It's true. One of the highlights from this uh, trailer was uh, Vin Diesel driving this like amazing looking car. And if you do love cars, they do have some of the most amazing cars in these movies. And he drives it literally from one skyscraper into another skyscraper and is able to jump out before it crashes out of the other side of the skyscraper. Uh, yeah, because that can happen. And curiously, they had a lot of Paul Walker in there, and I can't imagine he's going to be in there too much. Because he... he Passed away, unfortunately. Well, was, that, is, I, was it this one or the last one that they had finished, or they had filmed part of it with him before he died? That, that was this one. That was this one. Okay. So then this is also going to be definitely the last uh, Fast and Furious movie with him. Isn't Not it? necessarily. There's, they, they, could, they could... Remember we did a story about how they think there's another two or three out there? Uh, they could kill off Paul Walker's character in this movie and then just keep going. Never no, that's know. what I'm saying. Like, this will be the last one with Paul Walker in it. Oh, like, yeah. There might be oh, more. Yeah. But yeah. they're not gonna. They're, not, they're hopefully not gonna try and like splice in old footage or something. Or like CGI that. version of them. Yeah. That would be. Yeah, that that'd be kind of distasteful to me. Actually. And I do remember they were they were throwing around the idea of putting in a CGI version of Paul Walker to finish this movie, but I think they scrapped that and they're just gonna. There's gonna be some sort of weird plot twist, and you're gonna be like, wait, why did that happen? Why did he die right here? And it's just gonna kind of fill in the gaps. Because unfortunately, you're just gonna have to be like, oh, it's probably because the actor died 
that it could do yeah. anything else. And like, you know, your Tyrese is going to yell something. I think his line in the trailer was, "This is I've heard about crazy, but we're talking insane." It's like, oh, Tyrese, please do not become the Green Lantern. Have you heard about Tyrese's uh, little? fan vote. He wants to be Green Lantern in the 2020 movie of Green Lantern. They already made... I thought they've already determined who's going to be Green Lantern. Or, they, no, they or is that one They haven't even started off. production on that. They just know they're going to do it. They haven't started no. production on that. And so I, I, I pray that he will not be Green Lantern. That would be the... I will not see it if he's Green Lantern. I just won't. Ryan Reynolds, I thought would be a good Green Lantern. Turned out, movie sucked. You know who should be a good... Who would be a good Green Lantern? Uh, I, I Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know. Who, Samuel, I would I would see a Samuel L. Jackson as Green Lantern. Talk about Will. That guy's got Will. <laughs> you know, so, you know, that would be cool. And then we have the Terminator. I over everything except that, which is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he would say it very convincingly, though. He would. He would say it very convincingly. Yeah. And uh, so the next movie we saw was Terminator Genesis. And I guess they're trying to reboot this series because he's an old man yeah. Terminator. It looked like he was going back to save a young girl, Sarah Connor, against yeah, himself. Was there even a new trailer, though? Because I know I've seen the trailers for it, but it was maybe they a little bit new, new trailer. trailer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they said it was a new trailer. Yeah, that's, it, I actually like, though, the way that they're doing that one, because it is a reboot of the series, but it is also a continuation by them ex- like working it in as, hey, remember all the times we've been moving around through time? Well, we changed the timeline... But mm-hmm. here we're back at the, the first timeline plot, so here we're doing it. The only thing I'm a little weary of is clearly they're just using old footage of Arnold Schwarzenegger for parts of it. No, they're actually using CGI. They did this in um, the last Terminator movie, um, like Salvation, I think it was. And, yeah, in Salvation, they're just going to have the CGI Arnold there. So, no. Uh, yeah. Younger version yeah. of CGI. CGI. It'll be, uh, but it... it you're right. It is a time travel movie, so they can really mess up what a mess around with whatever they want to. I don't know if I'm going to see it because it seems like it's going to be the the villains are going to be the him from the original Terminator, and then the guy from Terminator Two. So <laughs> it's just like okay, so they're like, oh, he's they're messing up the timeline by doing going back even further. We're going to send those guys back even further. So it, it'll be interesting. Uh, we'll see how that works out. And then we had Insurgent. That movie looked like it was trying to rip off the Matrix. Divergent, it, there's a, the Divi- Divergent trilogy it was a series of books. Divergent wasn't horrible. It wasn't a really good movie. I don't really believe the lead character as the actress. I don't think plays a very good role there. But you know that's just my opinion. Um, but it looks like they're trying to be the Matrix because she does this thing where like she jumps through some glass and like falls down and all these buildings go like into the Matrix and it's like, so are you trying to be the Matrix? Um, is that what you're doing here? Matrix, because that's already been done. Somebody's already done that stuff. Now, and to be fair, there's a lot of movies that are just rehashes of stuff that's already been done, and if you were to properly redo The Matrix, hey, that's not the worst thing in the world. But However, you can't just redo The Matrix in your second yeah, part it's of a little the trilogy. Difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's a little difficult. Uh, you either have to start your trilogy off like that, or you have to. You can't just jump into Matrix style all of a sudden. It's like, wait, yeah. why are they Matrix? Huh. I don't know. So that uh, it's also a really tall order to, to to compete with the original Matrix. Like everyone's going to see it uh, uh, immediately that you're referencing the Matrix. You gotta you gotta hit have a really big blockbuster. To, well, and that's to, what doesn't make sense about this movie. Is there's really nothing Matrixy about the first one? Why does your preview look like Matrix Part Two? Like you know the Matrix again? It makes no sense why you did your trailer that way. So uh, we'll see what happens when the movie comes out. And last but not least, we had Ted 2. That was probably the longest spot we saw for the Super Bowl. Um, and they did have a part where it's uh, Mark Wahlberg and the teddy bear Ted standing over Tom Brady like, oh, wow, he's got all these champions, <laughs> you know, like in their Boston accents, even though it was Canadian that I just did right there. Not very good with accents. I saw the first one. I thought it was funny. Second one, I don't know if we need it. It's Ted is trying to that he's a, a human being or he's a real person or something like that because he can't get married unless he proves that he's a person or he can't have a kid or something unless he proves that he's a person it's less like well you're not a person you're a talking teddy bear 
but I guess mm. if you can talk and you can think and you have feelings, uh, I just don't know. Sentient it's being. yeah, sentient being. Yeah. So those were the movie trailers that I saw during the Super Bowl. Some of them I'm looking forward to, some of them not so much. But let us know what you think. Uh, is there any movie that you're really excited to see? Hit us up, comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting hold of us.